Hey guys, Sam from 3D here. In this video, I would like to show you how you can squeeze and how you can use avatars to library because there are so many combinations, it's easy to use, you just need to know few functions from Blender. You don't need to understand all of these, all of these, you just need to understand where to click, when to click, and that's it. So let's get to it. Firstly, if you just downloaded the Blender, please check our easy to follow tutorials. They are here. Uh, we are starting from navigation in Blender, how to use the camera and so on and so forth. So definitely check it out. For those who know how to navigate in Blender and want to go a little deeper, let's go to it. Biggest thing what is in Avatars 2 library is the generator. I mean, it's so huge and powerful that it's it's so fun to use it. Okay, let's go to the pose mode. If I'm in the pose mode, I can click on some switcher and I just can, with the G, I clicked G, a shortcut on the keyboard, G, and just move it, right? G, move with the mouse, G, move, G, move. Okay, so this is how you can easily change the hair. Okay, you can combine some hair, let's say this, with Bird here, if I click on the show overlays, I will see how it looks like. So, okay, if I want to change it again, this is this is it. If you want to see how it will look on the render, go to viewport shading. Now, the blender needs to calculate the lights, so it takes time, but once it's calculated, this is how it looks like. Okay, so this is much faster. I'm going here just to see the material. If you want to see how to change the eyes, the same structure. Go to pose mode, click on the switcher, and just move it with the G and move it, okay? So the same thing, same thing for the expression. It's moving, the expression is moving the mouth and the eyebrows, okay? The lip sync, this is, lip sync is very good if you want to animate. For example, if the avatar, they can speak something like 3D avatar can speak, uh, like this is O, this is AI, right? So with all of these combinations, you can tell anything like C, D, G, H, and so on. So if you just move that and you can use that uh, pretty nicely for the animation, like 3D avatar can talk. Okay, so we have the avatars accessories, but the, the structure is the same. On the right, we have all, we have different objects and we have different layers here. Uh, as you can see, you can turn on the background, uh, change the colors of it and so on. Let's jump like how you can change the color, like everything is happening here in the material properties. And if I click, for example, on the skin, I need, I have, I'm using two colors so I can change it easily here. Uh, don't forget to jump here also because it's also affecting the color of the skin because it's using the shader. All right, so that's it. Okay, now I will show you how you can change the texture on the t-shirt or different things like hoodie or maybe uh, other t-shirt. So you need to, if you want, for example, change the 3D to your logo or your text, it can be anything there. I love you, we love you, I love Blender, whatever. So you need to go to the object mode, click on the... Uh, the material properties and then you will see that here on the surface I am I see the texture here you will probably have the unpack it's just okay just click on the unpack it will unpack the textures to your folder where are source files and if I click on that I have unpacked it so it's I have the source files here in the avatars 2 and here are the texture I see that I'm using the base color 2 okay so this is this is one if I change it to base color 3 it doesn't have the text if I change it back, it has a text. So what do you need to go? You need to go to Adobe Photoshop or Photopea, which is completely free or any other design tool where you can just rewrite the text. Okay, I just localize the textures. This is how it look like. This is with the text. This is without the text. What do you need to go? You need to open, for example, Photoshop. Let's go to the Photoshop. So now what I have, for example, I will, I want to write uh, some different text here. So I'm going to just change it easily like avatars right so i will use the color i move it here okay and you can change anything you can change the color of the uh of the t-shirt and so on and so forth so this is quite easy to use it's just changing the picture now i need to save it let's call it for example avatars 
Okay, now I have Avatar's T-shirt in the textures. What I need to go, I need to localize it. So I will click here on the open image and I will find Avatar's T-shirt. You can see that it changed the text. So this is how easy it is to change to make it more, to use brand colors of yours or anything you want to. Okay, the next thing what I want to show you is how you can change the pose. Let's jump to the next thing. Okay, let's jump to the next thing. We will talk about how to customize the rig a little bit so it doesn't have so many controls. I'm going to the object data properties and with the shift, I will just turn on or turn off uh, the parts I want to see and you don't have to have all the controllers there, right? So they are not needed sometimes and this is how we can change it, right? So this is, I will turn them on, right? And now I'm going to the pose mode. I can click anywhere here so I don't have any bones selected or I can select the bones. I will just go to the animation and now I'm changing the animation, right? So I don't have any bones selected or the bones you want to change. Uh, they should be selected and you're just changing the pose. This is how it easy it is to use. If you want to combine different poses, I think the cool thing is that you can just choose the, the bones. This is called bones. This is one bone, second bone and so on. So I'm just changing it, right? So I can easily change and customize it, right? So this is how you can customize and uh, change the bones together. If you want to create your own, definitely you can you can do that. You just need to select. Uh, I will just turn on the correct bones, and now I'm just moving with it. Right, so this is it. There is I key and F K rig, uh, which is inverse kinematics and forward kinematics. But it, if you are just uh, the beginner, you don't have to care about it. It just means that some bones won't work, but it's not a bug, it's a feature. You just need to select the right ones. So those bones you don't use, you can turn them off. And the last thing what I want to show you is about the lighting. Uh, if you want, you can easily change how the lighting is spreading, how strong it is, where it has the direction and so on. So if I'm object mode, I click on the light, then again in the object data properties, here in the power, I can turn it on, it will be much stronger or I can change the color. If I go uh, to the viewport shading, definitely I can see that it's, it's changing, right? But we created tutorial for lighting in EU and cycles. So if you want to go a little bit deeper, definitely check the video on top right corner. Okay, so that was it. If you have any question, please reach out to me at samuel at 3d.design. If you want to learn more about avatars, go to avatars.design. And don't forget, we have so many cool other 3D libraries where you can combine them together and create so amazing 3D scenes. So definitely go to 3d.design and if you need some custom work or any help, just reach out to me, samuel3d.design. Have a great day, stay creative, bye.